AC guy 1948 here. I'm going to be going over how to take a ball hitch out for a uh, gooseneck setup. This is a 96 Dodge Ram, but uh, I'm not sure what the name brand on the hitch is. It had a tag, but it's wore off, and I had to fight this thing a little bit to get it out because of how it's set up. It kind of rusted together. But to take your uh, your piece for the safety chains off, you you take it to this notch here, and then that'll lift out. And then this bottom piece here, I ended up having to take this snap ring out. I took this around uh, where I can kind of get on it easy with the screwdriver. I was able to pop that out because I ended up having to take this whole piece off. But uh, in order to do it, if it works for you, you bring this notch here, you slide this around until it's lined up with this notch, and then you pull up on on this collar here and then you can just pull it out and there's four little balls in there for what catches in this groove here that's how this one's held in so to put it back in you lift up on the collar here well it's almost a two-handed job but drive that there we go I got one hand and then just slide that collar back down and locked in it's a good idea it's just if it sits and this collar gets all rested up on you well, I ended up doing I took a chisel and I had to beat around on this and finally got it spinning free and then I had to get up I took that um, snap ring off there because I wasn't 100% sure how this thing was supposed to come off so I took that snap ring out and I got underneath this collar here started prying up on it and then what I ended up doing eventually, because everything was just so locked up, I brought this up into here. Because it still, it I could get it up into here, but this still wouldn't pop out. So I got it up into there, took a chisel, and, or no, I took a pipe wrench, and got around low on this ball, and I had to twist the whole thing, get those balls working, so I could pull out the, uh, pull out the hitch. Now I can't get it to work. But... There we go. There she goes. So yeah, the only problem with this design is it's not set up to where you can put the uh, hitch back in and you can't put it up underneath because they didn't, if they would have put a second groove here, I could have just crawled up under there and slid it in the other way. And then there would at least be a flat spot showing here instead of a, a hole all the way through. So I got to figure out something to put in there so I might just leave this in. But at least I got set up to where if I need it, I can remove it. Or if I need to get something in here like a lawnmower, you couldn't get that in there with that thing sticking up. But, uh, so that's how you take that out. Just thought I'd do a quick video on it because looking it up, I couldn't figure out how to take this thing out. So, alright, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.